I'm Ed Dixon. I was born in Anadarko, Oklahoma. It was absolutely nothingness. I heard a famous tenor on the Ed Sullivan show singing Ridi Pagliaccio, and I thought, that sound. And then I remember in my little baby voice going, Ridi <laughs> How does he do that? <laughs> Originally, my idea of success was to make it to New York, and then it was to be on Broadway. Anytime you accomplish something, that's immediately in the rearview mirror. When I opened the Kennedy Center with Leonard Bernstein and Alvin Ailey, we brought that performance to the Metropolitan Opera, and I stood in the center of the stage of the gigantic Metropolitan Opera singing, and knowing that that was special, but that's the last time you're going to stand in this spot. The, the sacredness of the moments that pass. Acting on stage is literally manipulating the energy in a space. You become the size of the auditorium. When you're not having the experience, it's like the curtain is ripped away and you're just a, a person standing there. When you're in connection with it, you're in connection to the energy of the universe. When I'm writing, I really experience it as channeling, like it really just like comes out of the ether to me. It's the most thrilling thing. The reality of show business is that show business is a cutthroat, difficult, almost impossible profession. I played Tenardier and Les Miserables 1,700 times, but I call it chocolate cake syndrome. It's like you're being beaten to death with a piece of chocolate cake, and you're like, but I love chocolate cake. <laughs> I'm closer to the end than I am to the beginning. Anybody with eyes can see that. I've done 15 Broadway shows and at least that many national tours and at least that many off-Broadway shows. To be happy, to be happy in spite of everything, to be happy with this moment, that is success.